All right, Pops, you're going to buy a car. There is absolutely one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing you have to know, new or yes. used, what is it? The out-the-door price. Now, what do we mean when we say the out-the-door price? The out-the-door price is the total price that you're going to pay for the vehicle. That includes the selling price, any dealer add-ons, uh, sales tax, title, registration, doc fee. If you were to write a check, not that anybody has one today, but if you were, you want to know what that total amount of the check would be. That would be the out-the-door price. That's the only thing you want to concentrate on. Doesn't matter if you're leasing, doesn't matter if you're financing, you have to negotiate the out the door price. The reason why, so we've got a couple examples here. Yes. Many dealerships, we pulled one up here, you're looking to buy a new 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500. Yes. They don't even list a price, okay? So this is where things get confusing for consumers right off the bat. They just list the MSRP. So yes. call for availability and incentive. So that's you know, obviously when you call, they're gonna say, oh, well, here's what the price is. You need to ask for the out the door price because they may tell you, oh, the MSRP is $63,375. Come on in and we'll get you a price. Yes. It could look something like this, Dad, that I posted on Twitter the other day. MSRP $69,480, but the out the door price yes. is actually north of $83,000. When you add everything up, $7,000 in dealer add-ons, fees, taxes, et cetera. The reason mm -hmm. you negotiate out the door price is because it can include all the fluff, for lack of a better term. That well, that, that's up. not fluff. <laughs> that, that, that's much more than fluff, ladies and gentlemen. That is astronomical upcharges and profits for the dealership. Um, and the values, a uh, ceramic coat. I hope that keeps you warm in the winter. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, think when you see things like wheel locks, low jack, ceramic coat, nitrogen tire fill, door edge guards, um, my favorite, tinted glass, four windows. Okay. Well, if it's a four door car, it's got a driver's side window, a passenger side window, a driver's side rear passenger window, and, and, and a passenger side window. Oh, and let's not forget the rear window. Okay. So it's five windows in Dad, most cars. But the point is, is those are things that the dealer adds to the vehicle that you can negotiate or, or you can absolutely refuse them. Now, if you refuse them, they're going to say, well, we're not selling you the damn car. Okay, I'll go to a dealer that isn't going to force me to buy all this stuff. Yeah. You're, you know, typically, whatever the selling price is, you can add about 10% for fees. So if the selling price or the MSRP was... Well, be clear, be clear. The fees including taxes. Tax, title, registration, yeah. and usually dealer doc fee. Yep. Um, what it doesn't include and what you want to negotiate out is all the crap that they put on the car. They say, well, we've already put it on the car. Prove it to me. All right, Dad, you can sell your car on Car Edge. What's the deal? The deal is you just plug in your VIN number and we'll get you offers from local dealers in minutes. Seconds. CarEdge.com slash sell. Okay. Okay, and this is why the OTD is so important because if you go online, you see all the prices, you'll actually typically see bait and switch. Really oh, yes. low prices online. Then you call the dealership. They, they're trying their hardest to get you to come in. We prefer to do business with, and we recommend our community do business with dealers that just give you out the door price quotes via the internet. Yes. They email it to you, they, they put it in writing. It can be sensed as like, I'm losing my competitive edge or my leverage if I'm the dealer because you could go price shop that. Absolutely yes. you could. But if you're looking to just get a fair price conveniently, yes. a dealer who's willing to give you that out the door and you can negotiate off of that is a great sign. And you want to negotiate off of that, not the MSRP, not the selling price, because look at this. If, let's say this customer had negotiated off of MSRP. Yes. So they got the dealer to come down to $68,480 on the selling price from an MSRP of $69,480. They agree to that. Yeah. But then the customer comes in and they get hit with all this. And then they get hit with this text message, Dad, from the salesperson. Good afternoon, Jim. Unfortunately, the accessories are a must as not only do they add value to the vehicle, but there's very little profit in selling these vehicles at MSRP. Right. Many other dealers add markups while we don't. Since these cars are in huge demand right now, seeing as this will be the last year Dodge will be manufacturing these beautiful cars, the dealership makes their profit in these sought after accessories. Trust me. Lojack is a hot commodity with the rise of thefts this year. No, like this is why you asked for the OTD because you know what Jim didn't do, Dad? Jim never wasted his time yes. going to this deal. 
And and that's the thing. If you ask a dealership for an out-the-door number and all their response to you is, when can you come in? Exactly, please. Can you come in? Does tomorrow morning or afternoon work better? Okay. If that's what it is, if that's the response you get, if they won't answer your questions that you've asked, that's not a dealership you want to do business with. Now, I will tell you that most dealerships are afraid that if they give you an out-the-door number, okay, that you're going to shop that number against another dealership. I used to give out-the-door numbers in emails. Was I concerned? Absolutely. Did I give people reasons why they would want to do business with us? Yes, I did. And, and many times I won those battles because... A, I answered their question. B, I gave them rational reasons as to why you would want to do business here. Um, but most dealerships are afraid to do that. Just if, if they won't provide you with the information you need or you're requesting via email or phone, then they're not going to, they're not going to treat you straight when you get there. If they can't give you a straight answer on email or phone, why, why would you think they'd give you a straight answer when you're there? Brief aside, the reason this is important for a lease is because the same out the door price becomes the capitalized cost on your lease. We just did a video, uh, or we have a video coming out soon, or we got guides. Just Google search car edge space leasing and it'll make sense why OTD and leasing go hand in hand. The other thing I wanna mention that you'll sometimes see on out the door price quotes when you get further in the deal making process, if you have a car that you're selling and you're potentially trading it in. Once you've agreed to an OTD number, if you're in a state where you get a tax credit for trading your car, well, once you've then agreed to a trade amount for your car, that trade amount will impact the amount of tax. So the OTD will now go down because you've got your trade, your trade equity, and the tax savings for having traded the vehicle. But you always operate on an out-the-door price. That's all you should be concerned with. We have a free out the door price estimator because every state's a little bit different. Sales tax can be different. Some dealerships charge different dock fees, but we got an OTD estimator. We'll put the link in the top of the description or you could Google search out the door price car edge and it will pop right up. Number one, most important thing you need to know, OTD. Commit it to memory, folks. Uh, OTD, got it.